Hey, what's up guys? My name is Justin and I'm a current student at Boston University and today I wanted to talk about some of the pros and cons of going to BU. I wanted to put this video out right now because currently it's kind of decision season so you might be one of those people that's currently deciding between two colleges or between several colleges. I was in your position before and I wanted to offer a little bit of guidance with what I know about my own school. Just some brief context about myself, I'm a current first year student at BU. I'm studying business in the Questrom School of Business and I'm concentrating in management information systems. And I'm also pursuing a minor in journalism in the College of Communication. Before I forget, if you have any questions for me, definitely leave them in the comments, DM me, do whatever. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I know especially if you're making a decision right now between different colleges, this time is probably super stressful for you. So I'm here to help honestly have nothing to do. I have finals in two weeks, but it's fine. <laughs> and one more thing before we get started, uh, just a quick disclaimer. These are my personal experiences. These are my personal opinions. Everyone who goes to BU experiences something different, and that's with any university. So whatever I think is positive, whatever I think is negative, those are all my personal opinions. I've tried to put pros and cons in this video that aren't hot takes by any means. I've consulted with a few of my friends to see if they agree with me or disagree with me on some things, so uh, I'll definitely let you know during this video uh, if that's the case. Alright, without further ado, let's go. Pros. Pro. Urban campus. If you've ever visited BU, you'll probably know that BU is not a very typical college campus. The main campus, our Charles River campus, runs along the Charles River, as the name implies. And most of it's along one street called Commonwealth Avenue. And pretty much most of the buildings on either side of the street are BU buildings. I like to describe BU as a perfect balance between having a campus and not having one. If you're familiar with a campus like NYU, NYU pretty much literally doesn't have a campus. They have buildings kind of circling around a park, but it's not their own park. It's just like a public park. Being at BU, it definitely does feel like you're on campus. You don't feel like you're just going to random buildings, but you also feel like you're integrated into the city as well. Commonwealth Avenue is a pretty busy major street, but most of the people that you'll see walking along Commav are uh, people that are affiliated with BU. So you're definitely gonna see your friends, you're gonna see your professors, you're gonna see faculty members. Pretty much everyone you see on the street is gonna be BU related. BU students like to joke about this thing called the Commav 15, or everyone kind of has a different number for it, but basically the Commav 15 is like a random number of people that you always see when you're going to class or going back and forth on Commav, but have never talked to. And obviously that changes every semester semester, when your classes change, when your schedule changes, and things like that. Other pros about being at BU is that we're in Boston. Boston, if you didn't already know, is nicknamed America's college town because there's so many colleges just throughout the city. You've got Harvard right across the river, MIT right across the river, Boston College, boo, is pretty much a 30 minute train ride away. And also Northeastern's like a mile away from BU as well. So the great thing about that is that Boston is a very student-friendly city. Basically, if you go to restaurants or if you go to stores or anything like that, a lot of them will be giving student discounts, which is very helpful. Living on an urban campus is also very helpful because pretty much everything you need is really close by. We have like a mini Target right in our western portion of campus, which is super great for buying school supplies, buying groceries, and just little things like that. There's like a bigger Target that's three stories tall that's pretty much a 10 to 15 minute walk from the middle of campus. And there's also a Bed Bath & Beyond. 10 minutes away from campus as well. Compared to most urban campuses, I'd say BU is very safe. BU has its own police department, the BUPD, and they have a very, very quick response time. I'd say BU security is pretty tight. For all of our large dorms and large residences, you have to swipe in and also show your ID card to a security guard, and they're there 24 seven. And for the smaller dorms, you have to swipe in and you're the only one that can swipe in. So guests can't come in unless you let them in. You're also super close to a bunch of iconic places in Boston. The famous Fenway Park, where the Boston Red Sox play is literally two minutes away from BU campus. I've heard they also give out like $9 baseball tickets during the week sometimes. So you'll constantly see BU students going to Red Sox games. You've also got Newberry Street, which is a five minute train ride away. That's a retail area. There's always concerts going on. There's always concerts going on in Boston. I saw Rich Brian in October at the House of Blues, which is right next to Fenway Park. And I literally walked home in 10 minutes after the concert. Boston's a super historic city if you're into that. It's really pretty. One of the reasons I fell in love with Boston 
at first was just because it was so beautiful. And one last thing about BU's campus location is that it's super close to the airport. I know some of my friends have to get in like a super long taxi ride or a super long bus ride just to get to the airport. You could even ride the subway to the airport, but most people Lyft or Uber and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes, 30 minutes at the most if there's traffic. It's literally six miles away. So when you're going home, when you're coming back, you don't even have to think about it really. You just can get your stuff, head to the airport and you're there. Pro, BU is very international student friendly. About a quarter of BU students are international students, and you're definitely gonna notice it when you step foot on campus. I'd say BU is pretty diverse in many different regards, whether it be racial, ethnic, sexual orientation, gender. And with that, throughout your four years, you're definitely gonna meet people with very unique perspectives, very unique backgrounds. And I think that really adds to the learning experience. I know personally as a business student that every time we're doing team projects in business classes, the professors always try to put a very diverse group of people together in each team so that each team has a very unique set of backgrounds and ideas and different mindsets. Pro, culture and student life. These opinions are gonna get a little more personal because these are the aspects of student life that I prefer and that I love about BU, but definitely going to BU and being a part of BU student life is not for everyone. And that goes for any school, whether it be UC Berkeley or USC or wherever you go. Every school has a different culture and you just gotta find which of those cultures matches up with you the most. Personally, I found BU culture to be a lot about individuality and self-motivation. I personally feel that at BU, it's very easy to feel safe about being yourself. Not to get too like cheesy here or too deep here, but in my fall semester, in my first semester of college, I had so much self-discovery and that's just because like I just felt so comfortable being in my own skin and being myself. I'd say the majority of BU students are very self-motivated and work super hard in their academics or whatever they're working on, whatever they're passionate about. Literally every person I've talked to at BU either has something that they're super passionate about, that they're studying or that they're working on, or they're super motivated in trying to find what that is that they're passionate about. And I think that's really special. It sounds super cheesy, I know, but I actually do think that's very special about BU. There's not a lot of peer pressure at BU from what I've experienced. If you're the type of person that likes partying, that likes going out, that's definitely there for you at BU. It's a college. It's pretty much at every college. But if you're someone that's not comfortable with doing that, that's completely okay at BU. Also with Greek life, Greek life is definitely a thing at BU, but only about, I think, 13% of BU students are involved with Greek life. So again, it's there if you want it, but if you don't want it, you can just forget about it. BU has so many different student organizations. I know there's like literally hundreds of student organizations. And I can say confidently that you're definitely gonna be able to find a student organization that you're passionate about and that you care about. And if there's an organization that you wish was there that's not, you can literally just make your own. BU Student Activities puts on this event called Splash, which is pretty much our club slash organization fair. I think I took a video of it during my first year of college. So if that's there, I'll edit it here. But yeah, there's club sports, there's culture clubs, there's hobby clubs, there's professional clubs. Pretty much anything you can think about is there for you. And if you don't find it in Splash, you can find it in Splash 2.0, uh, which happens during the second semester of the year. Pro, advising services. From my personal experience, I've found that academic advisors and career advisors at BU are so so, so, so helpful. As a Questrom business student, I have access to the Questrom Undergraduate Development Center or UDC. At BU, we have a center for career development and you also have your personal academic advisor. Literally, there's so many ways to get help on uh, career advising and academic advising. You can set up a 30 minute appointment to talk about things like scheduling, uh, changing your major, changing your minor, literal existential crises, pretty much anything you can think of, they're there to help you. Also another thing that's special to Questrom, you can even go in and do a drop-in appointment for like a cover letter or a resume that you just did and they'll just look it over and give you feedback. Pro, faculty. Personally, I really love the faculty at BU. I think they really care about their students. Obviously, it's hard to generalize about that, especially at such a large institution. And obviously, there's good professors, there's bad professors, right? That's at any school. So as long as you're taking classes that you're interested in and you're doing your research about professors uh, before you select the class, you're good to go. Pro, caring about their students. I may be biased here, but I think that BU genuinely does care about its students. Especially with COVID-19 going on right now, I've definitely seen BU administration step up and stand up for its students. 
One thing this year that a lot of schools have had to do is move to a virtual commencement for their seniors. BU actually stepped up and said, okay, we're gonna postpone commencement. It's definitely happening and we're not gonna do it virtually. And I thought that was a really beautiful gesture for the seniors. This is also COVID related, but BU is also giving housing refunds. They've also implemented a credit, no credit system which is much more lenient than some other schools. And while communication about these types of adjustments and things like that definitely isn't the best at BU, I'd say a lot of that just comes with it being such a large organization. There's literally 30,000 students at BU and so many faculty. So it's definitely hard to get things perfect. Now, moving on to the cons. Con, expenses. Living at BU and living in a city like Boston is very, 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 very expensive. Literally nothing is free. Laundry is not free. Printing is not free. Depending on the major, you might get more or less free pages to print every semester. Living in a city is expensive. Going to college is expensive. When you put those together, things get very, very, very expensive. Now, if you've already been admitted, you probably already know how much you'd be paying for if you're going to BU. BU does say that they meet 100% of need-based financial aid, but that's definitely something that most colleges say nowadays. And I'd say when you're considering any college, whether it be BU or your state school or anything, you should definitely keep the cost in mind. Throughout the city, things are expensive too. Most meals that you go out to eat are probably between 10 and $20. And one thing BU does love to do is custom textbooks. If you don't know what that is, basically universities, not just BU, uh, collaborate with textbook companies to make custom versions of the textbook so students can only buy that version and they have to buy it from the bookstore and they make more money. Now you could argue that custom textbooks are better for curriculum at different schools, but that's still gonna be a disadvantage for you because you're definitely gonna have to buy it from the bookstore, which is expensive, or you're gonna have to buy it from an upperclassman. Con, self-motivation is key. Now I already mentioned this in my pros, so you might be thinking, why is self-motivation a con as well? I wanted to put this in the video because personally, I don't see this as a huge issue, but I know it's an issue that a lot of people have with BU. While I did say that BU does genuinely care about its students, BU is not a school where your hand is gonna be held when you need help. And what I mean by that is if you need help, you have to be the one to seek it. So for example, for registration, it's not mandatory that you meet with your academic advisor before that. They are there for you, and when you talk to them, they are very helpful, but if you don't seek them out, you're not getting that help. With things like dining plans and housing, there's not too much guidance for that as well, and it can get confusing. BU definitely sends out communication for these types of things, but sometimes it can get really confusing. Con, it can be hard to find friends. Now this is also a different experience for everyone. Personally, I thought I was an extrovert in high school, but it turns out once I got to college, I'm not as extroverted as I thought I was. I thought it was gonna be super easy to make friends and I kinda overestimated myself. So that might just be me. My tip for this personally is to find friends that have common interests with you, whether they're in the same major as you or in the same classes as you, or they're in the same student organizations as you, I've found personally that the people I vibe with most are people that I share interests with. But in college, friends come and go, and it's pretty quick. I know people that I talk to during orientation and during the first week of school, and then never talk to again. I know people that have been in friend groups for the first month and literally don't talk to those same people at all at now. So making friends is kind of a dynamic thing in college. I'd say for that, definitely just keep an open mind. Con, grade deflation rumors. If you look up hardest schools to get an A in, BU is number one. Yes, BU technically is the hardest school to get good grades in. And because of that, a lot of BU students have accused university professors of grade deflation. What grade deflation means is pretty much teachers literally pushing people's grades down intentionally rather than boosting them up. Now, personally, I have not seen a problem with this. I've actually seen the opposite. I've seen my grades been pushed up. But I've heard that this is especially an issue with STEM students. I know the intro chemistry classes are, I think, the hardest chemistry intro classes in the nation. And a lot of those STEM classes, especially those introductory classes, I've heard are like weeder classes. I don't have hard evidence on this. Don't quote me on this. But this is just what I've heard from STEM students. What I will say is this. BU is not academically easy at all. Now, whether you like that or not, depends on your personality, depends on your drive, depends on your motivation. But if you want classes that will challenge you to grow and learn, I definitely think you can find that at BU. Con, housing. Again, it's expensive to live at BU. Living in a city, rent is pretty high. 
If you go off campus when you're an upperclassman, rent is still gonna be high. Additionally, there's not a lot of flashy new modern dorms at BU, especially for underclassmen. There's only one underclassman dorm that has air conditioning, and that's the Kilachan Honors College dorm. Now don't worry, Boston is usually on the colder side, so air conditioning doesn't actually matter for most of the year. And all the units have heating. I actually made a dorm tour of my dorm room in Warren Towers, which is the biggest freshman dorm. If you want to check that out, I'll leave it up in the card right here, or right here. I don't know where it is. It's in the card. If you're looking for a single as a freshman, it's pretty much impossible. But the good thing is that the majority of dorm rooms are doubles, so it's not super cramped. You do have enough space for your stuff, definitely. Again, just something to think about. Con, lack of school spirit. One thing a lot of universities rally around is their football team. And guess what? BU does not have a football team. And therefore, we don't have a lot of school spirit. What we do have is our biggest sport, which is hockey. But the thing about hockey is that it's something that not everyone goes to. I know some people that literally go to every single hockey game and they love it so much. I know people that have gone to like one or two games and they like going, but they just don't go that much. And then I know people like me who have never been to a hockey game. It's not that I have anything against hockey. I do like watching hockey. I've just, I've just never been. So are BU students proud to be BU students? Yes, I would say BU students are very proud to be repping Boston University. It's just that we don't have any like traditional school spirit. Con, no huge campus center. While we do have a central point in campus, which is called Marsh Plaza, and we also have open space such as the BU Beach, it's not something that you would typically think of when you think of a university campus. I already talked about our campus as being a pro, but this is something that a lot of people are turned off by when they visit BU. So it's really up to your personal preference. I personally have no problem with it. I love BU's campus. I love how it feels like a campus while also being integrated into the city, but it's different for everyone. Finally, before we end the video, let's talk about some eh, stuff, eh, food. There are definitely good days and bad days when it comes to eating on campus. Some days I'll walk into the dining hall and it'll be like the best meal I've had in days. And then some days I'll go into the dining hall and I won't want to eat anything. What is good about BU Dining is that there are so many options. And if you're on a specific diet, it's pretty easy to match that diet. So BU has a lot of gluten-free options. BU has a lot of vegetarian options. We even have our own separate Hillel Dining Hall. And from what I've seen and heard from my friends at other schools, BU Dining is actually very healthy. It's definitely not the healthiest food, but it's definitely not like eating like chicken sandwiches every day. One thing I found that is helpful is before you go to the dining hall, you can go online, bu.edu slash dining, and look at the menu for the day. So you can decide whether or not you want to eat there that day. And one thing that's unique about BU dining halls is that you can stay there for the whole day. So I know some people start running out of meal swipes by the end of the semester. Some of them before finals week will literally just go there in the morning, eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner with one swipe, and just stay at their table and study. If you're not feeling the dining hall that day, you can also use your dining points, which is pretty much a certain allotted amount of money that you can use at eateries throughout campus. And we have a lot of options for that too. Uh, some of the popular ones are Basho, which is like a poke place. Uh, they also serve sushi. There's Panda Express, there's Subway. My personal favorite is Breadwinners in Questrom where you can literally just get like a sandwich or a soup or like snacks and you can just tap it and go. So dining at BU, I'd say it's not the worst, it's not the best, but um, it's it. Also there's a bunch of different independent restaurants on the BU campus uh, where you can go if you're not feeling anything or if you wanna go out for dinner. My personal favorite place and kind of a campus favorite is Nudpob, which is literally in BU's central campus. It's like a really cute, small Thai restaurant uh, where you can get takeout, you can eat in. Uh, it's always bustling, it's always popular. Eh, transportation. One thing about BU's campus that's great is we literally run along a trolley line. We call it the T, specifically the Green Line. And the Green Line runs all the way to downtown as well as all the way out to uh, the suburbs like Newton, Chestnut Hill. So if you want to go anywhere in Boston, it's super easy to hop on public transport. There's literally seven stops along BU campus where you can get on the trolley. There's also the public bus, which gets you a lot of places. Overall, transportation is very easy to get to. The con of that is that it's not free. At some schools, you might hear that they get free public transportation throughout the city. At BU, that's not the case. However, BU has its own bus service, which you can use for free. The BU bus not only travels throughout the Charles River campus, it actually goes downtown as well because the BU medical campus is downtown. 
The thing that sucks about the BU bus though is that it's not super reliable. We do have a BU bus app, but it looks like it was created like 10 years ago and hasn't been updated. Another thing about the BU bus is that since it is free, it gets really crammed at certain times. Even though everyone on campus has different schedules, there's certain different like rush times between classes where the BU bus can be completely packed to the brim. So here's why I chose BU. Number one was the urban campus. As I've already made it clear, I really love the BU campus. I think it's a perfect balance between having a campus and not having a campus. I really vibe with the student culture at BU. I think it's awesome that people are independent and that they're passionate about what they do, passionate about what they're learning. And another reason was that I wanted to go far for school, which is something I kind of regret. Like I do kind of miss home a lot when I'm at BU. I'm from California, which is a three hour difference and it's a six hour plane flight, but it's also helped me become a lot more independent. I hope this wasn't too long of a video. I've literally been filming for an hour and two minutes now. But yeah, if you have any questions or comments about going to BU, student life, literally anything, leave them in the comments, DM me, message me, do whatever and I'll get back to you. Quick shout out to some of my friends, Julie Lee, Stanley Jiang, Michelle Tian, all my friends at ASDB who gave me some input on some of the pros and cons to put in this video as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And one final pro about not going to Boston University is that you're not going to Boston College. Okay, bye.